Welcome back, Truth Seeker. October 1st, 2021, Joe Biden made an unmistakable tribute to the number 666, and I want you to see why he really did this on October 1st, but first we're just going to watch the clip. This is from October 1st, 2021. Listen to Joe Biden, and we'll break it down. different questions and I, they're all legit. I'm telling you, we're going to get this done. It doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter whether it's in six minutes, six days, or six weeks. We're going to get it done. It doesn't matter if we're going to get it done in six minutes, six days, or six weeks. We're going to get it done. I mean, he could have went with so many different numbers, right? But this comes October 1st. And we've talked about October before. It's the only month of the 12-month Catholic year that we go by, the Gregorian year named after Pope Gregory in the Catholic Church, Christianity 666. But October is the only month with a gematria value of 666. And this tribute was done on the first day of October, the month where we normally end by, you know, dressing up in costumes and telling stories about witches, spells, spelling, gematria, something lost to the minds of the masses, something more known about by our ancestors. And again, something that's alluded to in the Bible. And um, keep in mind on this exact same day, on this exact same day, you got Jesuit Joe Biden in the Oval Office. You got Jesuit Gavin Newsom. The Jesuits serve the Catholic Church. These are Jesuit educated men. You got Gavin Newsom becoming the first governor to mandate vaccines for the youth, the young. Mandating rushed out vaccines, not totally tested, unclear at the moment if they're even serving any kind of positive purpose based on everything they're putting in the mainstream. I mean, if they're telling you right now that 70% of the country is vaccinated and cases are three times worse right now than they were last year before the vaccines existed, that should throw up a red flag right there. But anyway, mandating these vaccines, and, and they were first approved by our government for Pfizer to make, and Pfizer's the most sued company in the history of the world for wrongful death and injury, but here they are being mandated on the first day of October by Jesuit scumbag Gavin Newsom in California. And um, again, vaccination and mandatory, both 666, something we've been talking about for a year and a half. And uh, in that same cipher, witchcraft is 666. Spells, spelling, operating by this Kabbalistic code of letters and numbers doing things ritualistically, putting it in your face. Don't forget the coronavirus pandemic simulation was first took place May 15th, 2018, Clade X, 666 days before the pandemic was declared. 666 related to the mark, something you must have if you want to buy or sell. A lot of places right now, you got to have a mask on. Almost the same word as mark, mask, mark, one letter apart. Or in some places, you got to have a vaccine. You know, that's... That's very similar to 666, the mark of the beast. And, you know, at, at this day and age we're in, the reason they're able to do it on the worldwide scale that they are and the time they're achieving it is only possible because of computers and the internet, right? Computers and the internet. And Apple, one of the first companies to partner with the U.S. government to contact trace to keep surveillance over the population in the time of COVID to see if they're obeying the rules. Apple with the bite out of the forbidden fruit, just like in Genesis. Genesis has Gematria 666. And um, again, man's made on the sixth day. God regrets making mankind in Genesis 66. Protestant Bible ends with the 66th book of the Bible. But the other company was Google who celebrates their birthday the same day the Jesuits do, September 27th, the day they were recognized by Rome. And um, Google, if you've seen the breakdowns that people have done on their logo, you could argue that it is a carefully encoded 666. And again, the, the way they keep doing these kind of rituals in front of us, 
you know, as obvious as can be, it's not too far out to think that these major corporations that are authorities in our lives are, are also purposely putting 666 in their logos like Google very well might have. So, again, look into the Google 666 encoding if you've never seen that before. But yeah, here, here let's just do it one more time. One more time. Let's hear, let's hear Joe Biden. Those groups of press that are always the same groups of press there are just as much a part of the show. That's why they never ask any real questions. But um, yeah, first day of October. And, and, and again, just a lesson we've taught about so many times, October and 666. I don't think there's ever been a more clear example, though, than August 1st, 2021. Mandatory vaccinations and, and this. And, and again, you guys, I want you to understand, if you're new here, the, the way those values equal 666 is when you multiply the alphabetic order times 6. But again, pick up Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages. And um, in that book, he shares this cipher, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, vaccine mandates 52, California's 52, Gavin Newsom is 52, right? They're all 52. And what day did Gavin Newsom do that? October 1st, 2021. The date numerology of the day did it. 10 plus 1 plus 20 plus 21, 52. 52 date numerology. Again, both of my books, the two books that have been released to date, I educate about what Gematria is, where it comes from, Kabbalah, why it's important, why they do this, and how. If you just learn to decode date numerology and learn this simple code, especially this cipher right here, how every day you can see how they contrive the rituals that they do. I mean, you really think that's a coincidence that on the 52 date numerology, Gavin Newsom issued a vaccine mandate for the children of California that are in public schools, which is most of them? It, it, it's too bad that so many parents feel like they have no choice but to keep their kid in school because they can't afford care and they have to work. Again, that, you guys, we're living in the B system. Parents can't even raise their own children. There, there's parents right now in California who don't want their children to be vaccinated, but they're going to do it because they don't have a choice. They don't think they have a choice. They don't have the courage to do something you know, risky and more difficult. And, and again, that's true for almost all of America. You guys ask how I got to be here where I am. It's because I was willing to take those risks. More people are willing to take those risks. This new world order would fall. So, And, and I got to say one more thing to, to all the Jesus people. Uh, again, you guys, the reason the powers that shouldn't be do what they do, these Christian rituals, is because they're following the playbook that they gave us to help form our understanding of this world and what was going to happen in our time here. Just like how they give us movies that show us what's coming. The Society of Jesus is responsible for the English Bibles as we know them. They're responsible for this world as we understand it. That's why we're on a calendar synced up with the name of Jesus. That's why these rituals are all in tribute to Christianity, the language or the religion of the new world. You see? The New Testament. The New World. Here's the president of the New World. You know. And, and again, all these teachings go way, way back before Christianity. It's, it's the same cabal. You know, just going through different names, different headquarters, you know, different aliases. But I, I do encourage everybody to read the Bible. I think it's really important to read the Bible. I wish I had the time. I mean, technically I do. I could quit doing everything else I'm doing and just read the Bible. But to keep up and continue to expose the evil each day, there, there's not enough hours in a day. But if you have time, I encourage you to read the Bible. Because the knowledge is in that book that these people use every day to make a mockery of us. 
The Society of Jesus is the new world order. No doubt about it. Gavin Newsom's a member, so is Joe Biden. Till next time, truth seeker.